kitchen. And I, Jerry, a small rat, happily and merrily, played and stayed gaily, daily in this kitchen. Tom and I, I and Tom, clapped and tucked, tucked and clapped, friends we were. Apo ya na chosaka, asio 
kuponyo kwa ila hakuna shaka kamera zijawekwa na mizangu nikishika raha nitavubujikwa hapa tata niko sawa naweza kwenda kulipa kidogo nitachukua nisilipe papa hapa nyingine kazi kupua nisiweke kwenye pipa hizi nitazienua ni wache kusapa sapa mbona ni vitu vichache na vile umekaulia au pesa hizo chache uchumi umekuzuria ndio vingine uviwache utakuja virudia lakini bora uwache pesa zisipotoshea uchumi hauko sawa mifuko kimechoboka mali tele ngenunua ela pesa ni mashaka lakini mambo ni sawa vichache nimevishika hamsini sawa change pia utashika fanya ala hala pita nimeizima mashini uwache kujikokota kwani umebeba nini wala unajivuta itajiwasha mashini zangu nipate kupata sita kujia nyumbani mesa au change yake nilikuwa sijakupa umetoka kwa mikiki mithili anaelepa au oh, kawaida halaiki tunakuaga na pupa sumuni lolobaki ndio eh. sote utampa apewe nani sumuni wacha wako ukuruba unataka milioni silipe pressure baba ai utatoka hapa ndani ukinipa 700 lasivyo uweke chini bidhaa ulizobeba simburuge mteja bawa kufanya adabu simfanyie vioja huyu wetu maabubu Mwachilie mara moja si mwachilie bawabu si kesho natafuta soda nimekufuta bawabu huyu nimemshika mali au makiba eti umemshika eh kwa ni wapi kasibeba ndani amezirundika we amezibeba kubeba wakimuliza mashaka sasa wanifuta leba mambo yameharibika metibuliwa migo nimeyazua mashaka bora singegonga gogo Bida tunazitaka tutaki tabia pogo zitoli poziweka hata kama ni kwa pi go san pengle mezi kusanya kubwa kushinda sinia vikombe pengle pia mesanya guoni akazitia na marashi za kufinya pia amesindilia zote hizi ulifanya mwilini kushindili ah Hehe hii kazi siko pekee bawa kutunja madai uzima mashini nitoke kisha hela nimwachie hiyo ni akili yake ulitaja nikuue ubeba vyako na vyake eh. alafu vichukue bawa eh. na wewe keti keti chini mara moja polisi tawadhibiti mkieleze kiyota wafisadi wasaliti muso na fadhila waja mtalilia laiti gereza kuso faraja Hawa kuiba eti ni makabwela fisadi. Wakuchungulia eti ni kabwela wa fisadi. Wote ni tujiza titi, mali ya uma kugadi. Duka letu tudhibiti, liweze kutupa hii. Di makabwela. Si, 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 si. Shu. I am happy. I'm glad that she is called Gladys. That's my mom I'm talking about. A woman whose banana smile made me rich in vitamin despite that we had just slept on a hungry stomach. A woman A woman who embraced her origin so she used her dark skin melanin tone to paint my future bright by educating me. She's a type of a woman I cannot want to forget about. Can I say Can I say that her hugs and Kisses while young always gave me goosebumps hot at noon. Can I say Can I say that her cuddles while young always made me feel like each and I could blush. She sees the type of woman who is so pretty. She's so pretty that she even defines my girlfriend who always uses the fake makeup type of thing only to make it up to me. She's a type of woman I want to fight all my life for. You see, her jeans inside my bland will never fade like the damn denim jean pants you buy at the market. My mom, 
my mom is kind of a different kind of a woman because the only time she goes on her knees is when she's seeking the face of the Lord to enhance her vision. I always like fighting for her. You see, I can make a periodic table just for my mom because if it's fighting, that lady has an iron steel kind of fist. If it's anything in my life, she has coped up with like any other thing you can do. You see, last night, last night was her birthday, so I even thought of buying her a gold watch with platinum necklace, with kind of diamond iced bracelet. But then I, I just realized that her presence in my life is worthless and timeless. So who told you? Who told you that Bill Gates is richer than your mother who tore her Sunday best dress just to make up for you a napkin? Who told you, who told you that a man who gained six pack within a three week gym membership is more bolder than your mother who carried you for nine months in her womb? For how many times have you been making bashes for your friend you call birthday? For how many times have you been making bigger cakes, six kg cakes mixed with ingredients, some call them wheat cakes, but for no even single time you've tried to buy your mama even a single 40 grams candy, if not a I meant just to show her that she made your life fresh. For how many times? See, she's this type of woman who doesn't like blue. Not that I mean she hates blue, but it's because she never conceptualized the concept that the sky is the limit. Just because she knows that the sky can't be the limit for her kids. Most of all, her son. So I wonder why she always wakes up on a Monday with Monday blues, yet she never do alcohol or drugs but I just came to realize it's because she gets intoxicated with the weekend weekends that makes her think of how she tried to plate a cup of hot water with hot kind of rice for her kids my mom is type of a woman who can fight for everyone that's why today I stand here to say that you and I should respect the women especially your mother they are one type of a person. Bunny the poet. Thank you, guys. So you guys know how we do on the show. We don't just watch the performances. We need to get to know the people behind them and all the way from ZTech University. I have this hey, gorgeous lady standing right next to me. Madam, you are looking absolutely gorgeous this morning. You're giving me a run for my money. A panel competition, Zitaki. Introduce us. <laughs> Tell me what your name is. My name is Yvonne Omboy mm -hmm. Wainaina. Yeah. Okay, Yvonne. Uh, my name is Riga Notino, a student from ZIT. And we have Yani, the height difference. It's not even a joke, but please introduce yourself to us. My name is Benjamin Ondara, mm -hmm. a scriptwriter and director at ZTEC University. Mm -hmm. So, you guys um, took part in this fantastic, fantastic play that we just saw this morning. So, I want you guys to tell me a little bit about the roles that you played. So, what role were you playing today? Um, uh, as for the choral verse, I was playing the role of a woman from um, uh, who's stealing in a supermarket. Yeah, it's all about that. And from for the dance, I was the chick, and I have my boyfriend. I I like him when he has money. Don't we all? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. All right, what about you? Okay, for today, I was playing the role of a watchman. Bawabu in the choral verse. So we are the watchmen who lies together with the person who comes to shop at the supermarket so that we can steal. So she steals, she goes with the goodies she has stolen, but then she leaves something small for me. So I'm that guy. Yes. All right, tag life, tag life. And who came up with this concept? I'm sure that it was you. So talk to us a little bit about the concept for the choral verse and both the dances. What was running through your mind when, we, when you were coming up with these? The concept for the choral verse, it's titled Makabuela. Makabuela is a Kiswahili word which means somebody who is extremely poor, but he lives a life that is beyond their means. So a friend of mine actually was joking about it, but it's what happened. I went into the supermarket and I found uh, some ladies. Some badges had been hung on their chests in Andikwa ways. So I got the concept and decided to do something about corruption. Corruption is rampant in the country. And uh, most of the time, there are, there are those people who steal and those who watch and keep silent about it. So the ladies would get into the, in the supermarket, carry the goods, hide them as they do, and the watchmen will, will switch off the detectors so that when the ladies get out of the supermarket, they share the spoils. 
Yeah. And is that how you usually come up with the concepts for your choral verses, for your plays, for your dances? Do you seek inspiration from outside, like just the way you did with this story? Any artist will get uh, triggered by daily occurrences to come up with a concept. So many at times we get concepts from the news, from everything that is happening around us. Sometimes we just sit in a matatu or an uber and uh, a concept strikes you, you note it why, down. Why did you have to say this one? you <laughs> Because <laughs> that's a story for another day. <laughs> so that is how we get the concepts. Mm -hmm. You try to think uh, outside the box, you might get a concept which is very creative, but if you do it normally, because there's nothing new under the sun, if you do it normally as people do it, you might not even get to the podium finish position or get such good trophies. Yeah. Mm, all right, so the Drama Club at ZTech University has been in operation for a while, since 2009, and I, b I believe. So have you been a director since that time, or did you just recently step into your Funny role? Funny enough, I came into the Drama Club as a first aider. Mm -hmm. The first time I was invited as a first aider, and then as we continued, uh, I continued being a friend of the previous director, I think the institution uh, realized that I could be more resourceful. So I was incorporated into the club. Since 2009, since uh, the, 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 the school was still a college, we were given the university status in 2014. So since 2011, I've been a director at uh, the Mighty Finance Fraternity, as we call ourselves. Okay, I like this mighty planet. Yeah, it's our motto, motto. And you guys have managed to collect a lot of accolades along the way. You've won so many trophies. You've also been invited to the state house. I mean, wow, it doesn't get any bigger than that. So can you tell me a little bit about that, that process? The accolades, the state house visit, what has that been like for you guys? So actually we do a lot in terms of practicing so that we can get all these goodies you see over here. So... We, on our, on our national performance, we knew that we had to do it. So given the hard work we had put into practice about all these choral verse, the dances, the play, we had to put our best foot forward. And the support we received from the institution as well, we couldn't let them down. So we had to do our best and giving us a chance to be invited at the state concert where we did our show and the deputy president really liked it yeah. and we feel very proud of that yeah. we have big names up in here you guys these are presidential performers right here and i don't want to assume that this is your passion that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life so i'm going to ask you is acting and drama something that you want to pursue as a career in the future yeah i would want to pursue that but currently i'm also doing some other things another course but Acting is my passion. I love it so much. With acting, I'm everything. But I'm also doing something else to, yeah. What is this something else? You're saying it like it's something that is not supposed to be said on TV. I mean, I hope it's nothing illegal, but what, are, what else are you doing? No, I'm actually pursuing hospitality management. Yeah. Okay, for me, drama is part of me. Since I was in high school, I like drama a lot. When I go to ZTEC, I'm now pursuing a, a degree in community development and social work, but then I also like drama a lot. So with the help of our directors, actually the solo of us that you have seen here, I'm the one who scripted it and directed it. And now I feel very proud because one of my items as an actor in the institution, with the help of our directors, I can also script and write. So it's part of me and I wish to pursue it from school I feel like I'll continue doing it. I'll direct maybe, apart from my other jobs and stuff, yeah. It's a passion. We have hustler, hustlers over here, man. <laughs> it's not a joke. We gotta get that bag. We gotta secure the bag. So were you able to choose the characters that you played today or were they assigned to you? And if you picked them for yourself, why? Why did you choose those characters? Um, uh, actually, from the time I joined uh, drama here in Zitek, um, I've been playing the role of a mother. I think it's because of the body. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not saying anything, you guys. I'm yeah. not judging. Yeah, but mostly I love the character. I love being a mother. I actually try to put myself into the um, mother's shoes and what she does and everything just falls into place when I think about it. And I always love being a mother. 
yeah so say that role comes easily to you and on that subject like how do you prepare yourselves for the roles that you play do you have to go somewhere in a corner and you put yourself in mommy mode and you go you put yourself in a fun day mode i hope that's the right way to say it um how does that work for you guys okay so if you want to pull up your role really well you have to understand first which role you are playing if you are a watchman try try look around uh, around how the watchmen act how they behave so that you can fit in that shoe very well now if you are a father try look of on how a father behaves you must be even if you are com you command your family or staff try look on what character you best fit in so this is, so when you get your script you internalize your lines then from there it will just come automatically. If you know the role you are, you are playing in the play, in the choral verse, or in the dance, it will automatically come in you. Yeah. So, yeah, it's actually about um, getting your script. When you get your script, you understand what you're supposed to do, you internalize your lines, and everything else falls into place when you do that. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. And for you, obviously, you're in a role where you get to shape young talent, you get to shape young minds. What have been some of the greatest successes for you, do you feel? Because I know you have some some alumni that are doing big things at our park at the end. I'm a very proud uh, director. Some of the people who went through my hands are uh, Njugush. Uh -huh. Njugush, uh, I used to call him Timo back in college. Not to drop names, but yes. Please. Yeah, sure. Njugush. I have very, I have uh, quite a number have gone through my hands. But uh, sometimes, at some point, it becomes discouraging. You see, these kids and the institutions put in a lot of resources and time to do this up to the national level, where the much they can get are trophies and certificates. I think maybe it's high time the policymakers could, um, could come up with things that are more uh, incentivizing, to say so, so that all this talent and time does not just go to waste. For example, I, I really like to thank KTN for this opportunity. We wish the policymakers could borrow from such, because after this level, the other levels, the primary and the high school, they are able to go and act in countries like Rwanda, yeah. the East African festivals. Sometimes I think maybe soon they'll be going to Congo, mm -hmm. but the university and other tertiary levels just remain behind. Kenyans should al also try to appreciate the creative uh, industry. Yeah. Come to theater, theaters, watch the plays. Mm -hmm. Like very soon, uh, the mighty finance fraternity will be, will be staging our play at. Nairobi Cinema would like to invite you. We'll give you a complimentary. You guys, you heard that. Nairobi Cinema, yeah. Mighty Furnace. Yeah. Why? It's not a reggae concert. Yeah. Mighty Furnace. Uh, it's going to be a massive concert. And uh, we're also doing it also to reach out to, to the less fortunate because some of the proceeds will be taken towards buying sanitary towels for girls who are in very needy places. So when we do this, beyond uh, having the trophies and certificates, we also want it uh, to go to a level where the students can benefit monetary-wise, uh, to put it plainly, yes. I love it, I love it. So we've heard some of the reasons behind their passion for acting. Let's talk about you now, you know, let's talk about Mualimo. What drove you to this? What drives you, you know, to do this? Um, I'm a creative thinker, I'm also a creative writer, but besides that, Somebody once said that uh, if you are good at something and you can do it well, get paid for it. All right, thank you so, so much. I have absolutely loved watching you guys perform and also conversing with you guys and getting to know what drives you. Thank you guys at home so much for tuning in. I hope you're talking to us on our social media. That's at KTN, Live on Style on Twitter and Facebook. Let us know if you're feeling the vibe this morning.